Hey everyone, it's Cass. Um, I have a collective haul to share with you today. Um, I know you guys haven't seen any project videos from me lately, and like I've said before, I do apologize. I have cut my scrap space to a third of the size that it was, so I don't know if any of you can imagine doing that, um, but it was one of the hardest things I've done in a long, long time. So anyways, I have, I'm not going to be de-stashing anymore. Um, not at the moment at least. And I have organized my scrap space. I have to get some, I don't know if you guys can see that pegboard in the back, but I have to get some more pegs because I can't find mine from the other house. So, you know, I'm just slowly working on it, but... My desk is cleared off, everything's cleared off, so now at least I can um, work. So, and I got some fun new things to work with, so I'm really excited. Um, one of the first things I got was the postage stamp frame. And this I actually got off of Etsy, but my new Joann's just opened up like three days ago and they had them there, so I kind of wish I would have waited because I could have got it cheaper. But, you know, what are you going to do? So, anyways, I got this. And I'm super excited to work with this one because it is 4x5. And, to me, that's a perfect size for the whole mini album. So, I'm excited to work with that. And then, out my Joann's. This is kind of just an all overhaul. Um, I got, can you see that? Oh, you can, good. I finally got this. This isn't new, I know, but oh my gosh, how stinking cute is this? I love envelopes, I love pockets, I love this stuff. So, I was super excited that they had this and it was 40% off, so I got it for $17.99. And my husband knew that the Joann's was opening up, so he told me, you know, I could go do a little scrappy shopping because I haven't been able to lately. Um... Not like this, you know, not $18 on one item. So, anyways, thank you, hubby. I'm so excited about that. Um, and I got this one. I keep checking the camera to see. This is the Movers and Shapers in the bag die. And this is what it looks like on the back. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's super small. It's so cute. It's three by four by three quarters of an inch wide. And what I want to do with this one is I want to try to see, see I haven't really been watching YouTube lately either. I want to see if maybe I can make it flat on the bottom to make this the entire mini album as well. Because um, I want to do a mini album out of these, out of these, and then out of the postage frames. So these are the new dies that I have gotten. Um, I got... The Hope Chest. I was so excited. I got this from your scrapbook supply. She had the 20% off sale, and I think that's still going until today. Is it today? I think it's through today. Um, so anyways, I got the Hope Chest from Pink Paisley. I'm sure you guys have all seen it, and a lot of this stuff you guys have already seen, so if you want to fast forward or whatever, but I thought I should do a haul video and let you guys know that I have not stopped crafting. Just life has been insanely crazy. Um, as you all know, it can get that way, but I'm in a comfortable place again, finally, and I am out of my slump, so I'm going to be playing with these tonight, and I will be coming back with a project later on this evening to share with you. So, I got the Hope Chest, 6x6 paper pad, I got the paper goods, and there's 42 pieces in these, there's the back. The glare is pretty bad too, sorry. And I almost thought I was not going to get to go to the Joann's Grand Opening because my straightener, I have a Chi, and back when I bought the Chi, it was over $100, and it broke, finally. Seven years, I've had this straightener, and it broke, and I thought for sure, because I can't not have a straightener, right? So I told my husband, I was like, oh my gosh, she's not going to let me go to Joann's now. But we found it on Amazon for 43 bucks, a brand new G. 
So I got that, and then I just took it off my scrappy shopping money. Um, but I still got to go scrappy shopping, too. So anyways, these are the journal cards for Hope Chest. So I love those. Let me, I hope I don't get too much in, but my hair is not straightened now because of my straighteners not here yet. Okay, let's see. Got that. What else is there? These. Sorry if you saw my face, all my hair, my unstraightened hair. I got some new papers from Joann's. I got the Magnolia Way. Let me, let me move some of this stuff. And I just organized everything and I was like, wait, I got to do a haul video. So now I'm going to get unorganized again, but that's okay. I'm not going to be showing you guys everything I bought anyways because... Okay, so this is the Magnolia. And on top of it, guys, my daughter, who you all have seen and heard, she got an early birthday present, and guess what it was? That's right, a puppy. So now I'm exhausted, hence the energy drink, because I'm getting up with a puppy every two hours every night taking it outside to go to the bathroom okay so here's the magnolia way paper that i got at joann's i had never seen this before so i was so excited about that it's gorgeous i love these colors and then the one i've been waiting to get my hands on is the butterfly garden can you guys see that oh my gosh it's beautiful Look at that. I love the greens and the blues and the coral colors. Um, I got the 12 by 12 secret garden. I didn't get the 8 by 8 because I think a friend is sending it to me from a swap that we recently did. So I did not get the 8 by 8 and if she winds up not sending it to me, that's, you know, no biggie. I'll just order it. I can't wait to make an album with this. And, of course, I had to get, and this is all, these, um, the Secret Garden in the French Country is from your scrapbook supply, of course. So I got the 12 by 12 in that. Also from your scrapbook supply, I got the Hello Pastel chipboard pieces, because I think I'm getting the A4. Um, I got the 12 by 12 in the Hope Chest. comes with 24 sheets and then from Michael's I got the primrose this one is beautiful DCWV has done such a good job this time around look at that isn't that gorgeous Anyways, I don't know if you guys have seen that or not. So, there it is. That's the Primrose. What else did I get that's within reach? Okay, let's see. I got this one. This one I got from my mom to make a mini album for my mom for Mother's Day because um, Marley said I have to make... I have to make her a photo album with her and the new puppy. So this one is called the Blue Citrus Stack. And it's gorgeous. I'm not a big fan of dark blue. It's my mom's favorite color. But the dark blue, the way they incorporated it with this green, the light blue, and the yellow, I really, really love this stack. So I don't know if it's new or not, but it's new to me. So that's all that matters. To me, and I got one of these because my favorite color is green. These are 40% off, and I think a friend and I are going tomorrow to get some more because it was only $8.99. And I'm just gonna—I think I'm just gonna take these out. I might use them, 
or might do both and then put chipboard in here because this would totally make a great mini album and you could just put your chipboard in the D-rings and make it as chunky as you want. Not that I make mine very chunky. But. I got some ring binders. Am I still on frame? Am I getting everything off frame? I hope not. I'm sorry guys if I am. Some ring binders so I could make my own um, albums as well. And everything I got of course is on sale. Joanne said it's new. It's King 7 Gypsies. Super excited. So they had these 4x6 postcards. And they're made from, you know, like the manila file folders. So there's 10 in here. These were on sale for $2.99. So I got those. Excited. Um, let's see. Michael's had these on sale. So I got the wood clocks. These because you can use them with any oh any collection. And these ones. And they had some bling on a roll. And it's that one. Can you see it? Anyways, that was on sale for $1.49. And this I got from Joanne. And this is the Kathy Davis. I've never bought anything of hers. Um, it's by GCD Studios, which I really like. But if you look at these, this would go perfectly with the butterfly, I mean not the butterfly, the Secret Garden collection by Graphic 45. And I love the colors, so I got those paper clips. And they were on sale too, I think those were on sale for $2.99 or $3.99. I got some wood tags, thought those would be fun to spray in ink for a dollar. I finally got a brayer. Yes, I know. This was, but it was half off, and I've never had one, and I wanted it for to do some canvas work and for glue on my pages. Let's see. And I got some larger tags. I got a new punch. I got the Picket Fence Punch from Martha Stewart. I used my 40% off coupon, of course, because I never buy anything that's not on sale. Um, this was in the $1.50 bin, but I liked it because of the chipboard cover, so I'm just going to gesso it and paint over it and make a little journal. Um, this is probably actually the project that you guys will see later because I want to, you know, ease my way back into it crafting so I want to do something that I can finish and not get discouraged because I have 10 projects at least maybe 12 projects that I've started in the last couple months since I've done a completed project but I don't finish them I get sidetracked with homework or somebody's sick or I have to go to work and I just don't finish it so we'll try that um I got these push pins for 80 cents these little butterflies that everybody has gotten before, these were on sale for 99 cents, so I got blue and green to go with the Secret Garden Collection and the Butterfly Garden Collection. And, well, pretty much everything else. Can't go wrong with blue and green. 